Bula, Malele, Talofa, and welcome to Season 6, Episode 1 of Breakfast Bites by TevoboSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People Sports News on a bright and sunny Saturday morning, 1 July 2023. Coming to you with Tan Tavanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, there's a new Samoan warrior wreaking havoc on opposition defences with Henry Tuilangi's 150 kg son, Posolo Tuilangi, lighting up the World Rugby Under-20 Championship in South Africa. The 18-year-old's latest victim was New Zealand, with a 1.92 metre tall lock scoring two tries in, in an action-packed man-of-the-match performance helping his side to a 35-14 win and handing New Zealand their biggest loss in the history of the Under-20 Championship. Tuilangi name is well known in international rugby with the Tuilangi brothers, Henry, Manu, Alessana, Freddie and Anitelea, all striking fear into their opposition on the field with their sheer size and physicality. In Rugby League, Fox Sports Australia has named their New South Wales Blues side to beat Queensland. As Dylan Edwards, Brian Tau, Stephen Crichton, Campbell Graham, Josh Addo Carr, Matt Burton, Mitchell Moses, Payne Haas, Reese Robson, Reagan Campbell Gillard, Hudson Young, Liam Martin, and Cameron Murray as captain. You've got to ask, aren't all media meant to be neutral? Meanwhile, a teary eyed storm coach, Craig Bellamy, conceded his side got what we deserved after they coughed up a 14 point lead to lose 34-16 to the Panthers yesterday. Melbourne had control of the game early, scoring two tries, but a penalty try to Stephen Crichton in the 31st minute opened the floodgates for Penrith, and they ran in five more. To South Sydney, where Cody Walker and Alex Johnston were on fire while rookie Tyrone Munro starred on debut as the Rabbitohs thrashed the New Zealand Warriors at Go Medium Media Stadium, uh, better known as Mount Smart in Auckland. Walker finished with two line breaks, two line break assists and a try assist, while Johnston had a double, and Munro scored a try on debut and set up another in the upset win. In sports biz, FIFA has ordered Cardiff Football Club to make the full transfer fee payment of US $19 million to Nantes for Emiliano Sala's transfer. Sala died when the light aircraft he was flying in from France to Wales crashed into the English Channel in January 2019, remember? Just two days after Cardiff had announced their signing of the 28-year-old Argentinian striker from Nantes. Cardiff had paid a one-third installment, but they have now been ordered by FIFA to pay the last two installments of the fee as well. In football, Aaron Mui, one of Australia's most decorated footballers, has called time on his professional career. The 32-year-old said in a statement, this has been a hugely difficult decision, but I feel the time is right for the next generation to be given the opportunity. Mui has been a key figure for the Socceroos for a decade, amassing 57 caps for his country while featuring in two FIFA World Cups in Russia in 2018 and the Socceroos' um, successful campaign in Qatar uh, 2022, where they progressed to the uh, past the group stage. For the first time since 2006. In boxing, Canelo Alvarez will face Jamal Charlo in the first of a three-fight deal Alvarez has signed with PBC. The fight is confirmed for 30 September and broadcast on Showtime pay-per-view. Charlo, who is 32 wins with no losses, 22 by KOs, is the WBC middleweight champion. But he hasn't fought since a decision win over Juan Marcus Montiel in uh, June 2021. He'll move up in weight to challenge Alvarez for his undisputed super middleweight title. Alvarez, who is 59 wins, two, two losses and two draws, 39 by KO, who defended his title with a decision win over John Ryder in uh, 
Walla de, de Laja, Tahara, Mexico, in May, had said he wanted a rematch against uh, Dimitri Bivol, who handed him the second loss of his career in May 22 in, uh, in a light heavyweight bout. Boxing fans have wanted Alvarez to face WBC interim champion David Benavidez, but Charlo got the chance. For TableWarsports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.